Okay. HackMD doesn't show that much for Q&A right now. Um, yeah. If you have anything, please write it down there. Uh, yes, there is feedback. So as usual, <coughs> the, what is it? So one good, or you're, see what you write that, I'll write the pull part. Okay. Um, Yeah, but uh, so so as a closer, like like today we have learned a lot about like how do you run stuff in the cluster? How do you run stuff in the queue? And this is really the the main thing, uh, uh, main thing uh, when you're working with computational clusters. You want stuff to be uh, happening there somewhere in like you don't even have to know where it actually runs. Uh, you want it to be just like happening on the background while you are doing something else. So, like you can do a lot literal literary uh, review, or you can like work on your code. You can do other stuff, and then you like you modify your code, you create it, make it into the cluster. You maybe load some modules uh, in your code, and then you submit them into the queue so that stuff gets done on the background while you're just, just like sipping your coffee. And then you visualize the results. And it, it's it's this kind of like a non-interactive uh, interactive. Uh, it's, it's a bit different than the normal working because some stuff is happening while you're uh, doing something else. So so you're not act actively monitoring the necessarily the things, but you're looking them after the after the fact. Uh, and it, of course, like when, especially when you're starting to use stuff, you have to do a lot more testing, a lot more like interactive stuff to to get stuff rolling. But once you get like a good hang of it, you can then like reuse the information. And that's really about what this course is also about. That like once you learn these certain basics, you can reuse them over and over again. So once you learn how to do interactive jobs, you can then easily do uh, serial jobs. Once you learn how to do serial jobs, you can easily learn how to do array jobs and parallel jobs and GPU jobs that we'll be talking about tomorrow. Tomorrow, And then you can reuse the same kind of information when you're using the CSC machines or bigger scale machines if you want to do bigger scale simulations or work in a different university or different environment. You can reuse the same information. So it's, it's really about this kind of like getting hang of the workflow where something happens uh, something happens non-interactively while you're doing something else. Yeah. I mean, and I guess if you're doing things interactively, then there is very little benefit to using the cluster versus using your own computer because you can basically do things at once. And I guess that's why there's so much emphasis for the non-interactive on the cluster because if you don't need that, then um. You might be here just for the software or something like that, or the large data storage capacity. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so tomorrow we'll be talking uh, about like the array jobs, which are basically like copy paste without copy paste. Uh, this kind of like do it, do it, do it again, kind of a, a job uh, for e for tasks that are easily parallelizable. And then we'll talk about parallel jobs, which actually use multiple uh, CPUs at the same time. And then we'll talk about GP jobs. And then we'll also hear from CSC uh, on, on the large scale uh, systems and what they are doing. So yeah, lots of stuff ha happening, but we will reuse lots of this information we have learned today uh, uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, another thing you could comment on for the feedback is, would you prefer more independent exercise time or more 
demos where we're sort of doing things and you're watching and trying to type along. So this time we really went towards the you work independently in Zoom with the mentors. Um, yeah. So that's a good question of is that a good choice or not? Okay. Yeah, and I'll try to improve the screen sharing for next time. Yeah, I think uh, tomorrow we'll have Richard typing and, and me talking more. So so uh, I think Richard has a better screen sharing setup at the same time. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's good to hear uh, the yeah. feedback. Also, like uh, there's, uh, I can already respond to that. Yeah, lots of this stuff is quite complicated to describe because this, it's so, so interconnected. There's so many things to interconnect. Like, for example, like job monitoring is quite interconnected to the queuing mm -hmm. itself. And it's, 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 uh, we might have, uh, like zoomed, uh, a bit, uh, yeah. into a, like a spoiler territory, uh, in some of these, uh, examples. So, so describe something in out, out of order. So, yeah. It gets a bit of a, yeah, multiple timelines running at the same time. So the plot gets hard to, hard to follow sometimes. Yeah. But uh, it's good to have feedback so that we can improve. Yes. Uh, okay. Should we wrap up for the day? Let's see if there is, there's any other questions up above. Not really. Yeah. Okay, well, let's wrap up and any extra feedback we need, we can do tomorrow. Okay, so thank you. See you at the same time tomorrow. Bye. Bye.